Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Betty Atruda, and welcome back to the Magnificent Truffle Pigs, because played this a couple of weeks back, really, really charming game about low-stakes personal drama and digging stuff up out of the ground. And to be honest, I just wanted to know how it ended, because as I understand it, this is a short game, we can wrap it up today, thought some of you guys might be curious as well. In fact, I was particularly interested, because there were some really interesting, you know, thoughts and theories in the comments of the first part, you know, does the main character exist? Am I maybe like a split personality of Beth or an imaginary childhood friend or something? So, okay, do I exist? Am I going to find the earring? Is the earring even there, given we know the first earring Beth found was planted by her father? Let's flip and find out, shall we? Hey. Hey. I wasn't sure you'd turn up today. I said I would. Besides, what else am I going to do? The house just reminds me of Jake. Every time I move, I see another bridal magazine staring at me. Going to the office means facing Dad and Lucy. Do you want to talk about it? Any of it? Later. It's still sinking in. But I have got some news about the Stanning Slayer. I bumped into Sergeant Marler again, so I asked him. We were right. It wasn't a serial killer. Just a one-off. A crime of passion, he said. Some teenagers thought it'd be funny to daub the scarecrows with red sheep dye to scare the kids. <laughs> That's how it started. It sounds like it worked if you're still going on about the Slayer all these years later. Mm, That's sleepy villagers for you. No real news or excitement, so we have to make everything up. Okay, I'm relying on you to find something good today. I'm not sure I'll be able to focus, but I'll give it a try. All right, thingy out. Let's see what we can find, because I don't even know whether there's even yeah, anything left. The whole point is, all the stuff we've been finding so far, anything good like uh, costume jewellery, was planted by her family, so... Okay, just up and down to speed run this and check the check the map, by the way, and oh blimey, okay. Three fields are back to back, so hopefully we can do at least the first before it's time for Oh, here we go. At least the first before it's time for uh yeah, lunch. And uh, in we go. Let's see if there's anything here. Because if it's good, it was probably planted instead. Ooh. Okay, keys. Keys are good, potentially. Try it on some of the buildings later. Looks ancient to me. Okay. We don't necessarily know she's going to be uh, that chatty today. Because uh, she has been going through some uh, some personal stuff as our Beth. So, uh, okay. She may or may not want to, uh, to talk. And I'm going to try and do this entire field in three. Which is probably a little bit aggressive. But I feel like, yeah, if I'm in the middle right now, and I can make it to... Oh, something on the surface, and... I'm going to be honest, that looks more sparkly than costume jewelry. Unless that's really well-polished glass. Okay, that's surprisingly shiny. And... Yep, gold, diamonds. It's worth six grand. Give or take a few quid. Okay. Really? It was just lying there. No one's daft enough to lose a six grand ring. Yup. Only an idiot would lose a ring like that. What's up? You should be excited. It's my engagement ring. I got mad. Thinking about him. I threw it away. Oh. Really? How did I not know that? Don't you think it was a bit reckless? Just throwing it in some field? Uh, um, we've got metal detectors. Anyway, finders keepers, I guess. It's yours. But look after it. I'm not even sure I want to see it again. You might change your mind. Jake won't ask for it back, will he? <laughs> he can go jump. He might be minted, but he refused to spend any more than a grand on a rink. I paid for most of it. I spotted it before we'd even met. Fell in love with it. Knew that was the rink. Whoa, you chose your wedding ring before you'd even met your fiance. Oh, don't sound so surprised. You know what I'm like. My engagement ring, a wedding dress, I've always known what I wanted. And what if you'd never met anyone you wanted to marry? But everyone does. Or at least I thought they did. Until I screwed up. You didn't screw up, Beth. Oh, I know you're trying to make me feel better, but it's not working. My job is turning to shit, and my dream wedding has vanished. 
Sounds like you're more bothered about losing the wedding than losing Jake. You know what I was trying to say? Stop twisting my words. You've set yourself this list of goals. Being the boss, getting married, the perfect house, a couple of kids. You think ticking them off will make you happy, but it's your list that's making you miserable, Beth. Jake wasn't just a tick in a box. There was a time when I was besotted with him. He was the one, I'm sure of it. But even when you felt he might not be, you just prefer denial to dealing with it. Jake and I were already fragile. I thought if I opened things up, it'd just fall apart. That happened anyway. Maybe you could have saved things. Opened up, had a chat. Faced up to what was going on. Maybe. And yes, I admit it. I'm more upset about the wedding than losing Jake. But that's a sign, right? It wasn't meant to be. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, Adam. Keep the ring. That's six grand. That's good. Keep it. If she doesn't want it, just, you know, wait a few months to be sure, then flog it. All right, you are flipping quids in for this week. All right, six grand for one week's work. That is a damn good payday, Adam. Ah, but here's interesting. Public footpath. Okay. If there was somewhere someone might drop something, it'd be on the footpath. We should probably do that first. I'm feeling good about that, potentially. One more over here, too. Okay, whatever it is, it's pretty on the big side, actually. Think about this is... I don't know. It looks ceramic, but the metal detector detected it, so... Okay, it must be made of metal. So remind me of anything. I don't know, does it? Give me a clue. You don't see it? Obviously not. What are you talking about? This. It looks just like that UFO. Oh. Uh, I guess. You guess. Look, it's identical. We should tell people we've solved the standing UFO mystery. Oh, people won't care. They'd be happy to carry on thinking aliens really did visit Stanning. And what about you, Mulder? Still want to believe? Trust me, there are days when believing in things that don't exist is the only thing that keeps me going. Well, that sounds like Adam might not really exist. Also, uh, what's that down over there? I can't quite read that sign, but there's something over there. Possibly from the bottom of the field, uh, we'd be able to read that. Okay, that's the first... Never mind, how did I miss whatever this is? And that's just a bracket of some description. Not too exciting. Right, that is number one done. Let's get number two nice and fast. If I can do number two before lunch, honestly, I'll be feeling pretty good about today. I'll be feeling like we've made some flipping progress here. So down over in this direction. Right, doing nicely so far. Don't worry about the wheelbarrow. This is probably up and down twice, four in total. And Beth, not now, I'm metal detecting. And, oh, she's finally bloody found something. It's a loop or a ring or something, depending on size. So, ah, the bracelet that was mentioned previously. Oh, typical, isn't it? I finally found something valuable and I can't even keep it. And, uh, yeah, it is kind of not yours. No, but Mrs. Havers might give you a reward. She makes a delicious lemon drizzle. I'd be happy with one of those. Yeah, it's not like you're slimming for the wedding anymore. Ouch! You're right, though. No dress fittings for me to worry about. Not for a while. Do you think that's it for me? Am I going to be one of those old spinsters? I'm not getting any younger. I'm pretty sure she's younger I'm than me. 30. Even if I met someone tomorrow, there's going to be a few years of dating. And what if it doesn't work out? Start all over again, even older. Oh god, my bones are turning Don't to dust. Give up hope just yet. You're a romantic. You've always believed in happy ever afters. That's why you never thought about the earring too much. And see where that's got me. Okay. And we've also got something over there, presumably a foundation for, uh, yeah, where the uh, wind turbine's going to be. Because we know they're knocking down... No, they said they were knocking down the farm for Solar Farm, I believe. So, okay. This looks more like 
I could have sworn they said solar farm, but now there's stuff with wind turbines on it, so I'm not sure which. And, oh, bloody hell, Beth. Hey, ready for lunch? No, 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 no. Let's carry on just for Let's the moment. I'm nearly well, done with this field. Just leave me alone for two minutes. Okay. Just got to get through all of this nice and fast. All right, I'm going to complete this area. Okay, it's going to flip and happen. In fact, this is... This is a bit of a bust. Okay, there's one. We can get one more before lunch. Quickly, Adam. Come on. And magnifying glass. Nothing too exciting there, to be honest. And just check the corner over here. There's the scarecrow that might have been the slayer once upon a time. And if we can just get to the end over here. Honestly, I'm going to say... Yep, we're done. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Just one more field at the bottom to do in the afternoon. Here, your ring. You should take better care of it. I wasn't sure I ever wanted to see it again. Thanks. I think I know what I need to do with it now. You know we're not going to cover all of the farm this week. I hope you're not disappointed. I'm going to be honest, I'm doing pretty well for this bit at least. Why should I feel disappointed? It feels a bit like a job half done, don't you think? We were never going to finish it this week. It's just too much to do in too little time. <laughs> Sounds like me. Trying to cram everything in. Work, relationships, kids, fun. Too little time. Oh, how do other people do it, Adam? Make everything slot together at just the right time. They don't? Well, most people don't. Look at Sally. Have you forgotten that she quit uni when she fell pregnant? She wasn't looking for it to happen, it just did, and her life just shuffled around it. She might think you've got it all. Had fun at uni, a job to fall back on, and no kids to ruin your social life. Nah, she loves those kids. I'm sure she does, now. At least she escaped from stunning. Same with Jen and Claire. I thought I'd be the trailblazer, and look at me. Are you kidding? Jen might have a great job, but have you ever thought that maybe she didn't want to leave Stanley? Mudderlot is the biggest company in the village, but you and Lucy had that tied up. Like it or not, Jen had to leave if she wanted a career with prospects. Sure, her job takes her to far-flung cities, but she never gets to see them, not really. She flies in, flies out. But she might like that. And Claire? Partying all the time, living a carefree life. She's having fun now, but she can't do that forever. And when she stops, what will she have? Some great memories, but no career. No way of getting on the property ladder. One day, she might have regrets. Are you saying none of us managed to get it right? Are you saying they're all unhappy too? No, you always assume everyone else is loving their lives. Maybe they are. Maybe they're not. Schrodinger's happiness. I, I guess you could call it that. So, joy doesn't have to be tied to our situation? Don't ruin it, Beth. Don't try and find the answer to life inside a formula. That's why you always end up in knots. Does everyone have an Adam? I think so. I'm not sure everyone gives them a name, though. Oh, here we go. I don't think many people run away and go metal detecting with their Adams, either. <laughs> no? Is that a bit weird? Should I just talk to you in the shower? Or when I'm sat on the loo? The loo? Charming. And to think I had you down as romantic. By the end of tomorrow, we'll have squeezed as much into our time here as we could. No regrets. Agreed? Agreed. Oh yeah, I don't exist. But then what's happening? Am I Beth the whole time and I just imagine, Adam? Do the phone calls really happen? I don't know. Right, the last field's a bit bigger, so this is going to take a little bit longer to do. But I've got the whole afternoon, so unless there's drama, we should be fine. Alright, here we go. Something big, but pretty ugly. Probably nothing dramatic. It is probably... Pedal from a bike, right? Yep, bicycle pedal, nothing dramatic. Mm. All right, round the outside. Let's just get this area around that thing done first. 
All right, I just want to clear out a bit of the field. Uh, from here, we can see uh, whatever that is. Okay, what we should probably do is, yeah, whenever we're in that corner, check that shop, see if it's like a big model lot outlet or something. And, uh, all right, see something right over here. So we got one thing right there. Then I just loop the other way back round where I just was. Uh, round the bit of, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, shrubbery. Just another tent peg, isn't it? Or possibly. Yep. Another tent peg. Soon we can put up a tent. Huzzah. And yes, pretty much uh, confirmed. Uh, I don't exist, but... Hey, we're not allowed to be downbeat anymore. That's the only rule from now on. Wow. Your mood really has changed. Okay then, tell me, what's so great about our tent peg? It's another find for the jar. And, well, it reminds me of all the time I've spent outdoors. Not recently, of course, but spending all day behind a desk just doesn't feel like me, does it? Goes with the job, though. It goes with that job. Bloody hell, you're not really thinking about leaving Mudderlot, are you? We both know I'm not happy. I want to please Dad. And I kind of like annoying Lucy with my brilliance. But it's not enough for me. Not anymore. It's like the thing with Jake. But this time, I'm not going to ignore the signs. What about the money? The job security? Yep, I know. But Mudderlot is doing well. Dad and Lucy would never see me destitute, would they? Look, I'm a manager there because it's a family business. We both know I'll always have a job there, if I want it. Thank God for friends and family in high places, eh? I did work hard, though. It wasn't just a free ride. I still think I'd have been successful without a leg up. But the worst part? I've let it imprison me. It should have liberated me. I just let it tie me up in knots. Maybe it's time to see how I fare on my own. I need to trust myself. Learn to listen to myself again. Okay, so I'm talking to myself, but what to do with the texts? Do they even exist? And, uh, you know, on this occasion, now we know that's definitely true, pretty much. It feels like, uh, yeah, in that conversation, Adam is like internalized guilt over the fact she's had this job just handed to her. So, okay, these debates, the conversations, they are. They're in a conflict. That's what's going on here. So, I assume, yeah, I'm the one, Beth, who's actually doing the digging. The question then is, yeah, what's the deal with... Okay, that's rather exciting. What's the time, by the way? And uh, half two. We're doing all right. Field's nearly half done. Marvellous. Cheeky git. I found loads of things. I just don't share all of them with you. But I'm going to polish it up and stick it with my award. It's time to admit, I've come second to Lucy. Really? You think she's better than you? Now, I didn't say that. But maybe she is the best person to take over at Mudderlot. She'd love to run a business. But me? The idea of being in charge sounded good. But the more responsibility I have, the less time I get doing the things I love. And you only just noticed. No, I just expected something to change along the way, to grow into it, to find the same joy that Lucy finds in it. Same thing with Jake. I just thought that if I stuck with it, stuck with him, one day everything would just click. Somewhere that hope turned into desperation. Couldn't face the idea of starting over. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself. Ignoring the signs and wasting so much time with Jake. And I've spent all these months turning Lucy into a rival. You can't rewrite what's happened. No, but I can change course. Change what happens next. With my help? I don't normally need help from anyone. Why you? Because no one knows you like I do. I know all your weaknesses, your fears. The things that make you fall apart. Oh yeah, definitely inside her head in some capacity. Whether the game will be like uh, specific as to what's going on or not, who knows. But for the time being, that's this side of the field uh, 
done. So, okay. Now we just start tagging and... Oh! Ready to wrap up? What? No, not even remotely. Oh, I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> okay, a bit longer then. Let's hope it's worth it. It's like 3.30pm. We normally go way later than this. Bloody hell, Beth. I was doing really well as well. Bloody hell. Right, okay. Just keep on digging. Maybe that happens when you found, like, all the important plot stuff. So now there's nothing but a bit of trash. I honestly don't know precisely how it's calculated. And first today. Okay, some young pup. Marvellous. Let's see if maybe we can just sneak uh, one more in. One more. I'm just going to... Darn it! And no conversation after uh, after work. Instead, uh, straight to Friday. And a really nice day, possibly, for the finale. I don't know. Where are we, by the way? I don't know. I can't get my map right now. Can I put the thing down? I can. Seriously, where's my map? There we go. Oh, blimey. Okay, two just massive-ass fields here. So this is going to take some, uh, some doing. What's the best way to do uh, this? There's that right there. Okay, we'll start along here, along the path. No word from Beth. Oh! Okay. It's Muddalot. Good morning. Oh, shit. You're in the van. And you're late for the last day of detecting. It's been a crazy morning. All right. But I didn't think you'd actually ditch your car for a van. <laughs> Did you think I was bluffing? I told you I was going to change. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's talk about it later. Anyway, how are you? Found anything yet? Me? I'm good. No, I'm, I'm great, actually. Nice to see the sun again. But uh, um, w what did you mean, tip of the iceberg? I feel like I'm missing something. I promise I'll tell you everything later. Oh, Mrs. Hafer said thanks. She was so happy when she realised I'd found a bracelet. She was in tears. That's nice. Yeah, it was. Strangely so. Felt really good, making someone happy, doing something useful. And some other news. Mr. Hobbs got in touch last night. What? Like a visitation? No, not the farmer. Hobbs Jr. The son that vanished. Although vanished seems a bit strong now. His mum and dad divorced. He only moved a few miles away. Spent every other weekend right here. So nothing creepy happened? You sound disappointed. No, I was just expecting something more dramatic. What did he want? He heard I was detecting the farm again. Asked me to let him know if we found anything interesting. We had a laugh about the UFO photo as well. He fessed up, said it was his dad's idea. Well, are you doing any detecting today? I've got a bunch of calls to make. Carry on without me. But let me know if you find anything. Okay, hang on. If she's in the van, and I'm doing the detecting, and stuff's actually being found, then... Okay, hang on. I must exist, otherwise there's not stuff being found. But then again, the only thing that's been detected that anyone else has seen was uh, the bracelet. And that was something I didn't find. She did. So... Okay, hang on. Is there any detecting going on right now? Or is she pretending to make calls in the van because she's actually me and has been... Do I exist or not? Because I'm so confused right now. Right, straight up this line. We'll use like this line here as a guide. Just step and then move. But I'm not sure what's going on. Though I like how Adam sounds nervous about her making big changes. Because big changes might involve, yeah, her deciding having an imaginary friend or whatever it is that's going on isn't like, you know, that healthy for her anymore. So hang on. What was that? There we go. Gotcha, buddy. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um, this might be bad news for Adam's continued existence. And again, just a bit more trash. We're finding a whole bunch of junk. Nothing too exciting. That's it. I've had enough. Enough of me sending you pictures of junk? <laughs> no. This. Pretending that we're here to find treasure. When what I really needed to do was just clear my head. Like an idiot, I choose the one farm in the world that has views of everything that's been stressing me. Muddalot, home, Jake's house, Lucy's place, Dad's, 
I was never going to relax with them in Clearview. And me? You said I remind you of bad times too. Maybe. Maybe you didn't help. Way to make me feel unwanted, Beth. Oh, there are always going to be bumps in the road. I've used you to figure out how to cope. Everyone was right. You showing up is bad news. Oh. I thought we were a team. We are. Kinda. You're like an ambulance. You want them to be there, but at the same time, you don't. And... It's not like I don't know who... What you are. Your ventriloquist's dummy? that tells you everything you don't really want to hear? I know, it sounds dumb, but I panicked, felt desperate. We... I... figured it out, though. What I need to do next. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. Let's do it over lunch. It's nowhere near lunchtime yet. We could start early. I've got Jaffa cakes. Okay, I'm on board, but just give me one last session, right? I'm enjoying digging stuff up. I've barely covered this field. J just give me a bit longer. Especially if this is my last chance to find anything. And if you value our friendship, you'll save me a Jaffa cake. Friendship or Jaffa cakes? That's a tough one. <laughs> I've got a few more calls to make, so go ahead. See you soon. All right. I just want one more treasure. Maybe something good. Maybe the earring. Maybe. Here it is. This is it. This is the earring. Right here. All right. I may be imaginary, but I'm going to be imaginary and rich, damn it. Okay. I found a card key. So, maybe not necessarily the best thing in the world. No. Squeezing one more out. One last one. This might be the end of it if I'm about to be retired out of existence by Beth, you flipping monster. Knuckle Duster. Okay, if she tries to, yes, flipping, uh, believe me out of existence, I'm not going down without a fight. Well, this is a bit different. So, uh, what happened to the car? It's gone. Sold it and borrowed this from Dad. A van. So, what's the plan? I'm going on an adventure. And there's no plan. Well, <laughs> there is, but it's kind of vague. I need a change of scene. Get away from here and really clear my head. Sold my engagement ring too. I figured some extra cash would fund my next adventure. I don't need it, and I figured I could have a lot of fun with the money. Wow, you have had a busy morning. That's only the start of it. When we finish up here, I'm going to hit the road with my detector. I've got a tent, sleeping bag, shovels, walking boots, everything I need to go detecting. I thought you'd had enough of detecting. I've had enough of detecting here, on this farm. Coming here was a step backward. I was trying to turn the clock back to a happier time. I'm not that kid anymore. And what about Muddelot? There'll always be a role there for me, if I want it. I'm taking some Muddelot gear with me. I'll road test it while I'm out and about. Maybe write some blog posts for the website. Might even design some new products. Design? Creating things again. That's amazing. I'm sure Mum would approve. I hope Dad does too. Hopefully. But that's not why I'm doing it. I've spent too long trying to be what I thought Dad and Mum wanted me to be. Neither of them would want me to be miserable running mud a lot. And Lucy and Dad? Are they okay with this? Are you kidding? They love it. Lucy gets to be boss. And Dad doesn't have to disappoint one of his kids. Lucy must be over the moon. We chatted for ages last night. It was her who lost the bag, with all the other jewellery they were going to hide for me to find. Well, she did hide it, in a way. And all these years later, we still managed to find it. But it was so nice, chatting like sisters again instead of rivals. We've both missed that. And where to first? Sally's. I'll take her and the kids detecting. See if I can make up for years of broken plans. Then I'm going to see Claire. Maybe have a messy weekend at a festival. Then, who knows? <laughs> Maybe come home and do something with Lucy. Or I could rent my place out and carry on traveling. Maybe I could come with you? We both know that's not how this works. You and me, 
It only works when I'm in a bad place. When my plans fall to bits. This road trip is my practice run. A chance to learn to enjoy detours and be spontaneous. If I don't have a plan, it can't fall to bits. But you always plan ahead. Life goals, that's you, that's your thing. <laughs> in that case, taking life as it comes is my new goal. And I'm sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. I found exactly what I needed to find. And okay, interesting. Do you think I'll ever see you again? Don't know. Maybe. Well, you know where to find me. If you ever... You know. I know. But I've got this. For now. Bye, Adam. Sally! Sorry about our last call. I didn't mean to be so tetchy. Me? Oh, I'm good. Now I'm great, actually. Well, <laughs> I wasn't. But I am now. That's the important thing. Adam? Oh, don't worry. I don't need Adam. Everything's under control. You and the kids. Are you free tomorrow? I'd love to take you all out detecting. They can get muddy while we have a catch up. I've got so much to tell you. Yeah, me too. Oh, I can't wait. But I hope you're in a chatty mood. I've barely spoken to anyone for the last week. Well, I like she's reaching out to her old friends. Uh, not 100% convinced making major life choices like selling your car, selling the ring, quitting your job effectively overnight is necessarily the best idea. Maybe before you make choices that big, you know, just sort of wait for a moment. Take a moment to, you know, really be certain that doing all those things at the same time is the right thing to do. Like, you know, big changes, healthy changes, great. Doing it that fast? Hopefully it works out for her. Anyway, so... In the end, not 100% clear precisely what Adam was. But uh, yeah, I did say at the beginning, just as a joke, that uh, he was kept locked in the shed. By the camera angle at the end, yeah, that's kind of the implication. He's just gonna stay here. A goblin locked in the shed. And uh, he'll always be there if, you know, she needs him. So it feels like... In the end, she didn't conclude that Adam was a bad thing. Like, if something goes wrong in future, her being able to have an internal dialogue appears to be something that she's happy with and accepts as a good thing for her. It's not a problem she wants to solve or anything. So, okay, there are questions logistically as to how much was actually dug up, if anything, or... Whether I, as Beth, just spent the entire week sobbing in my car, imagining the detecting, though bracelet must have existed, as did, okay, as did digging up the UFO, because that was, you know, confirmed with someone externally, so someone was doing some detecting. Maybe in the last day no one was detecting, because Beth was in the car and maybe the phone never existed. Okay, I'm not sure, but basically, good luck to Beth. Hopefully, she ends up in a happier place. And just reloading a day quickly, so, okay. There were 50 treasures total, and uh, I got 45. So, uh, there are five more things dotted around the fields uh, that I never located. Though, uh, I imagine there's no, like, you know, uh, major ones. Though, to be honest, I'm kind of curious whether... Okay, just out of interest, I've loaded up Friday. I'm going down to the bottom of the field and I'm going to see whether I locate something completely different to what I already found. Okay, down bottom of the field, I found something, but is it a repeat of what we've already found? Well, I didn't find that last time I was here. So, okay. I don't know whether if I just like, you know, dig up a handful more things, no matter where they are, whether I just get up to 50... All right, another one right by the wall here. This should bring me to 47. It's a sheriff badge. Okay, that's rather exciting. 
All right, in the main field on the left, where I didn't get to last time. Number 48. It's no. Hang on. It's the bicycle chain. I did find that already. So, okay, I must have got to that. Yeah, that must have been one of the last things I got to in this field. That's it. I've had enough. And there we go. That's that's Beth now calling time on all of this nonsense. All right, Wednesday. Yeah, if I've maybe missed anything out here, it's going to be over here in this here second field. Nope, that's what I did find originally in field one. The slots seem to be in fixed locations, but when you find things, they always come out in the same order. Okay, up to 48 on Monday, after picking up the first treasure, which you've got to find is the penny, because it kicks off a conversation, I found a bottle cap in the field at the end. So that's 48. So okay, important plot treasure needs to come out first. Then you can start finding treasure that's tied to a specific location. So okay, you always find, but then again, what happens if you, yeah, dig a penny out of... I mean, if the penny hadn't come out of that spot over there, because it came out over there, then what's in that spot where the penny... I don't know how treasures are allocated, precisely. But, you know, I am up to 48 now, so that's nice. Oh, I'm up to 49, actually. I found a, a button or something, so okay. I don't know whether maybe trash is just coming up in a certain random order. Oh, I think we got it. 50 out of 50, Master Truffle Pig, I have located a compass. So there we go. That is every single treasure in the game. The last one is a compass, but without, like, you know, the uh, bits that make it a compass. So really, it's just a dial reminding you which order north, east, south, and west to go. Together with confirmation, therefore, presumably, the other earring is not in the game. There you go. That's the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. A nice story, though... I won't deny I would have liked a free detecting mode because uh, I really enjoyed the actual detecting, but the detecting comes to a halt in order for the story to happen because you can't detect while you're talking to Beth. So uh, I would have preferred it had there been, say, a free randomised mode at the end with, like, you know, a whole bunch of extra treasures and a bit of back and forth that you could just, you know, do and just have a random field where every time you play, they're in a random order. Maybe even, like, you know, a speed mode in that where you've got to find 10 randomly placed treasures as fast as possible. That'd be fun, but uh, no. Instead, it's just, uh, yeah, repeats of the day. There's no free roam mode when you're done. I feel like this game could really have done with that. All right. I like the story. The story's a good story. I just wish, you know, the bit a bit more of a balance between the narrative and the metal detecting. All right. What can you do? That's the end of the story. That's the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. If there's ever another one, Magnificent Truffle Pigs 2, let's have, you know, a bit more actual, you know, metal detecting. That'd be mag flipping nificent. So hopefully one day we get something like that. But in the meantime, I be John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the Magnificent Truffle Pigs. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Were we doing virtual reality, or was that just like a metaphor for lesbian sex? And then he smacked me lightly across the face with the money! What? This is... Well, where is this going? What's happening? We're gonna buy a whole new bin, and we're gonna write Brendan on it, and we're gonna put him in it and toss it off the pier.